So this is a tutorial question number eight from the chapter two. It says we're given a triangle ABC. We know coordinates of each individual vertex of that triangle. Uh, there is another point, point M, which splits the BC side. And actually, I have to tell you this. Question eight, it has four parts in it. The part which is relevant to the current discussion are the last three. And I'm going to present the solution to only the fourth part, the part four. So the other parts, I can give you the hints how to do that, but they are relatively easy. So let me just take you through the from, uh, let me just take you through the setting again. We have a triangle with the vertices A, B, C. The components uh, we know the coordinates of that. We also know that there is a point D on B, C here. This symbol, if I if I haven't explained that symbol, this is a symbol which says belongs to. I think I did so. So D belongs to the second BC. It's here on the picture, on the graph. It's clearly visible. And we need to find such a point, D, such that the AD is perpendicular to BC. This is a clear case for the projection formula. All we have to do, all we have to do, we have to take the vector BA and we have to project it. We have to project it on BC and that will return the projection BD. So computationally, I mean, this is a very simple task. You just have to follow the steps needed to find the value of the projection. All of the hard thinking was done already by the Cauchy Schwartz and our analysis of that proof. Yeah, let's just do that. So I'm only focusing on part four, remember that? Okay, so like I said, it's a pure computational task after what we discovered with you. All I have to do, I have to take the formula for the projection. I remember that formula. You obviously don't remember that formula yet, but I hope at least you make an effort until the exam time to remember that formula. So the formula says this. If I want to find the BD, which is the projection, keep in mind how you put the symbols here, BA, vector BA, onto BC. So BC goes into a subscript. BA goes into the argument. The formula says this. We have to dot product BA and BC. We have to divide this by the square of the length of BC. And we have to multiply this or scale BC with this number. This is our T naught from the previous discussion. This is our T naught from the previous discussion. All I have to do now, I have to sub in the values. Of course, I can find the, the components of the vectors AB, BA, and BC. So BA vector, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 1, right? We subtract, we subtract these components from these components. 3 take 4, negative 1. 2 take 4, negative 2. 1 take 2, negative 1. This is BA. This is BC. 6 take 4, it's 2. 1 take 4, negative 3. 0 take 2, negative 2. Dot product of these two vectors is negative 1 times 2. It's negative 2. Negative 2, negative 3, it's 6. So it's 4. And negative 1, and so it's 6. Dot product is 6. Length of BC, 2 square, nine, sorry, 4, 9, and 4. 4, 9, and 4, it's 17. So the length of BC is root 17. In fact, we don't even need the root because in the formula of the projection, length always comes with a square, which means it will be just 17. So my BD vector basically is just the 6 17th of the vector BC. Which means that we have 6 parts in here and 11 parts in here. Anyway, so that's the BD. Of course, you can finish that. You can substitute the the value for the BC, I mean this value. Yeah, that's a sub, that's a substitution. 6 17th. And that's the vector. You can you can take this fraction inside the vector. Here it is. It's a computational part. I'm rather skipping over it. You can sub it in, and now the last step is to find the components for D, knowing the coordinates for the BD vector and knowing the components of B, like this. Finding G vector is just simple addition, right? You have to add 4 to 12 17th, 4 
to negative 18, 17, and 2 to negative 12, 17. I don't expect to do it from the top of my head. I can't do it from the top of my head, and I don't expect you to do that. You will have your calculators. You can check this computation later, but I do have the answer here. I did it. I do have the answer here. Do I? Yes, I do. I do have the, it's, it's a horrible looking numbers. Normally that's how it happens with projections because projection is very non-trivial operation. It's, it's too much to expect that the result of that operation will end up with the beautiful numbers. Sometimes it does end up with the beautiful numbers, but it's a very low probability of that to happen. So don't be uh, intimidated by these numbers. Like I said, the, from this moment on, in fact, from this moment on, everything was a pure computation. From this moment on, everything was a pure computation. Yeah, and you can, I'm sure you can do this even without my help, with the, with the help of the calculators, electronic or this calculator, whichever you prefer.